and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. My name is Joss and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you some fragrances that my friend Richard Keycott sent me. Richard is on YouTube and I will link his channel below. Be sure to subscribe to him. Richard simply has an aura about him. He's got the most amazing personality. He's so charming and funny. He is just an amazing person all around and I adore him and I'm so grateful to him for sharing these amazing decants with me. So in addition to these amazing perfumes that he shared with me, he sent me this beautiful mug. This is a camping mug of Richard and his husband, Travis, and their two dogs. And it is so cute. I love this so much. And I have this on my desk now and it's so, so adorable. And thank you, Richard, so much for this and for these perfume samples. And again, please hop over to his channel and subscribe to him right after you watch this video. I've only smelled one of these so far because I just couldn't wait. So I have smelled one of them and I'll let you know when I get to that. Otherwise, I really haven't smelled any of these before. So I know what they are because they're labeled. So the first one is from Hermetica and it's called Spice Air. And I don't know that much about Hermetica. So I'm really interested in trying this. So this is really, really interesting, really woody. I'm getting, I'm definitely getting a lot, like maybe cedar, maybe sandalwood. It's really pretty. And then some florals start to kind of come out, but I get a blast of wood right away. And then I start getting some florals and some spices. And it's really interesting. It's unique. It's like nothing I've ever smelled before. And I think this is like a perfect fall fragrance, very gender neutral, right on the line. It's like so unique smelling. And I really, really like this. So again, this is Spice Air from Hermetica really beautiful and I might layer this with something floral because I love that it's got this very slight floral nuance to it but it's not a very strong in your face floral so I kind of like my heavy florals being an 80s girl so I might layer this with something a little floral just to amp up that that kind of flowery goodness the next one is from olfactive studios this is called close up so I haven't smelled anything from olfactive studios so I'm really looking forward to trying this mm. wow this one smells very resinous to me. Like, I feel like I'm getting benzoin, olibanum, maybe myrrh, maybe, maybe some tonka, maybe something boozy, maybe some oud. It's really interesting. Um, very strong, very powerful, intense, gender neutral, spicy. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's coincidental, but there might be pepper in this or something, but it's really interesting. Slightly floral, very, very slightly floral. So this one I don't think is for me, but like I said, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, but I don't know. Ever since I, ever since I hit like 45 years old, I can't tolerate spicy food anymore. I used to love spicy food and I don't know what happened. And now it's like I cough and I sneeze and I, my eyes start to water. I just can't handle spicy food anymore. Is that a part of being old? Cause I don't remember hearing that. So, but this is really interesting. I don't think this is something that I would probably wear, but I would love to smell this on someone. It gives me kind of like a leather jacket, kind of a cool vibe. Very, very beautiful. I do appreciate it for the art and for the, for the complexity and for the uniqueness, but it's not something that I would see myself really wearing. So again, this is close up from Olfactive Studios. Next, we've got Rose Oud, and I love a good Rose Oud fragrance. So, very beautiful. Um, my current favorite Rose Oud fragrance would be Oud Ambrosi from Maison Lego. <laughs> I've talked about it a lot on my channel, so if you're new, hello, my name is Joss. I love Oud Ambrosi from Maison Lancome, and if you're returning, then you probably know that. But this is very pretty. It's um, This one has... This one seems to be more strong in the rose department than Oud Ambrosi is. Oud Ambrosi also has honey, cedar, patchouli. This one's much more rose intensive. So, so this one is very pretty. Um, the other one that I like is Oud Bouquet, which I think has rose in it too. Um, and that's also from Maison Lancome. It's kind of, it really had a moment like two years ago. I think Demi Rowling really popularized that one. But this is a really pretty rose Oud. It's called Rose Oud. Next, this is Leur Bleu from Guerlain, and this comes in their classic bottles, and I 
feel like I might have actually tried this one. I know I said in the intro that I haven't tried these, but now I think Veronica might have sent me a sample of this one. So I'm not. And that would be Veronica from the channel Veronica says. It's really, I really like this. So this has a definite vintage vibe to it. It's very white floral. So I feel like I'm getting white and yellow florals. Very sweet and very pretty and very French smelling to me. So this is a very beautiful, classic, slightly vintage, almost giving me a slight like 80s or even 70s vibe. So it's very classy and gorgeous and elegant. That's Bleu Bleu from Guerlain. So this is the one that I already tried and this is called Shamal and it's from the house of Nobile 1942. And this is a really interesting, beautiful oud fragrance. So it's very strong and it's very, um, this is a very punchy fragrance. It almost reminds me of like a Middle Eastern style fragrance, but I don't know if Nobile 1942 is a Middle East. I don't think it's a Middle Eastern house, but I'm not sure. So anyway, Shamal is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And thank you so much, Richard. I shared the last remains of his bottle with myself and a couple other buddies like Veronica and Yulia from the channel SentSiblings.ca. So thank you so much, Richard. This was so generous of you. It's gorgeous. It's really interesting. If you don't like oud, you probably won't like this one because it's very strong, intense, gorgeous, potent. Um, I put this on last night and it lasted me several hours. Like I just did one spray and it probably lasted like five hours. So interesting, gorgeous Shamal. Another one that this is like a super rare, hard to find. This is from Cher and this is uninhibited. Another super generous, special fragrance that Richard is sharing with us. And it's a gorgeous vintage. It's a really beautiful floral vintagey vibe. This, this is another one that kind of gives me like a 70s and 80s vibe. And, you know, of course, Cher is iconic to this day, but she was definitely probably in her heyday in the 80s and 90s, but she's been popular for decades. So um, I remember watching the Sunny and Cher show when I was a little kid and she's beautiful. And this is a beautiful fragrance. And so thank you, Richard. It's classy. It's beautiful floral. It's just this elegant floral, just beautiful. So that's uninhibited from Cher. From the house of Tokyo Milk, this is pretty rotten. So I have a few Tokyo Milk fragrances. I don't have this one. I've never smelled this one, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. They do some really interesting, interesting fragrances. So I feel like I'm smelling apple. Um, so Tokyo Milk is an American niche house and they have some really good sales sometimes. Their fragrances are really affordable. This is really interesting. It's a floral apple. It's gorgeous. I'm assuming this is from the dark line in the black bottles. Um, so they've got the dark line and I have one called Excess, which is a heavy patchouli fragrance. This one seems to be a very heavy apple. It's really pretty. It doesn't smell like a rotten apple, um, but I assume that's kind of the inspiration for it. And if I know, and I haven't seen the bottle, but I'm assuming it's probably got like an apple on the cover. So I'm just taking a guess, I don't know. Um, very pretty, love Tokyo Milk. I love the note of apple, it's just one of my favorites. It's kind of a classic, beautiful, um, this is not shampoo-y, but sometimes um, apple reminds me of those shampoos from the 80s because apple shampoos were the thing in the 80s. And this is pretty. This one is from Juliet Has a Gun and this is called Mad Madame. So I have a couple Juliet Has a Gun fragrances that I like, and then I've had some, um, some misses with Juliet has a gun too. I definitely want to like them. So this might be one I like. Um, I want to like them because they're a French niche house. They're really cool. They've got a cool vibe and a cool, their packaging's cool. The names of their perfumes are interesting. This is a beautiful floral, Mad Madame. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I do definitely like this one. I could totally see myself wearing this. And I like that whole Mad Madame. <laughs> Mad Madame sounds kind of fun to me. Um, so I like this one. And like I said, Juliet has a gun. I, I've just had hits and misses with them. This one I think is a hit. So thank you, Richard. Love it. So actually the last two are probably the ones that I am most likely to pick up. Tokyo Milk Pretty Rotten and Juliet has a gun Mad Madame. Those two I really like. Um, 
I liked a lot of the other ones, but I know some of them are hard to find or expensive. So the last two are getting added to my wish list. It's always so much fun trading decants with friends because then you get to try things that you wouldn't otherwise try. So thank you again to Richard for allowing me to try these fabulous perfumes and I really appreciate it. So that's going to wrap up my video and thank you once again to the amazing Richard Kikat and be sure to subscribe to him, watch his videos, you will fall in love with him and, and be sure to check out the other channels that I've linked below. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Yeah.